Okay, there he is. Is this live? This should be the right one. Like, it, it's it's going to take me like four times of doing this before I'm actually like, okay, there we go. It actually is live now. There we go. Shiny hunting Lugia. Let's go. So it it's going to take me a while before I finally get comfortable starting up these um these short streams. But there we go. It's working. Let's pull that out. That way I can keep that separate. There we go. Oh yeah, that's a uh, Wendigoon. I was watching a Wendigoon thing earlier. <laughs> Alright, let's get let's get hunting. Oh, this is gonna be fun. So how's everyone doing tonight? Um, I hope you are all doing delightful, because I certainly know I am. And it is time for more Lugia hunting. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this. We are gonna do this Lugia hunt sort of intermittently alongside our other hunts. No, wait, shrink that a little. There you go, that's fine. So that way we can kind of like, you know, chip away at the Lugia shiny hunting, shiny hunting silver glove, Lugia. Yes, shiny hunting Lugia, because we need this thing. So, just, yeah, he's gonna be just working on this one slowly, slowly, slowly. It's going well, though. It's going quite delightfully, so it's going to be good. I'm sorry to flip buffer. Okay, so I, so the thing is, I finally got the, the, the thing down, so I can have the shorts replay buff, the shorts going, and then I can have the replay buffer running on the main screen. So I, 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 I figured it out mostly. M mostly, so. All right, we'll come back. Hello there, Blob. The Blob. The Blob. Oh yeah, I think I mentioned this earlier, but my Pokemon Y version actually came today. So I can actually start playing Pokemon Y version on a physical copy, which is good. good. Also, what do you guys think of the new layout? What do you think of the new layout? We got the, the Lugia, the Lugia over to the side. You know what, what? What do you think of it? Is it new? I, I, I'm a, I like the idea of now. I think it's actually going going quite good. So, I don't know. I think I think it's neat. Just gotta you know figure some stuff and things out for the future stuff and things. Later, thank you. Wow, Jared, that thing you sent me was great. Like, like we need more game devs like that. Like, no, we're not gonna take this out because it's funny. Like. Those are the kind of devs we need working on all of the video games. Because you know what? Those are guys are going to have fun with everything. And we need fun in games again. It's like, that's amazing. Eight days. I thought it was um seven days. Because I thought it was coming out on the 28th. Because it's the 20th, Omar. It's the 21st right now. It's coming out on the 28th, isn't it? So it's 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th. He has seven days. I am I am looking forward to that movie with great anticipation. I thought it was coming out on the 28th because I went to my local theater's website and they were already having seating for the 28th. I could have sworn it was the 28th. Let me do a quick check. Let me, let me do a quick... Quick, quick check. Nope. Uh, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I, I could be wrong. But I'm fairly certain it was that. Uh, Godzilla X Kong New Empire. Lugia. Release date. It's a Lugia. It's a Lugia. We must have had the movie point here. Upcoming. The fifth film in the MonsterVerse. Godzilla Kong. New Empire. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love this already. The Godzilla X Kong, the new Empire director, already has plans for another sequel. Based. 
beast. You know what? I don't. I don't care. I. I. I you know what? I like it. They already have ideas. Release date the 29th of the U.S., really. Interesting. Interesting. Because, like, my theater has it for the 29th, the 28th. That's fascinating. Okay, then. Like, that... For those who do not see the DM, Helldivers 2 refuse Helldivers 2 devs refers to term. You're like any game dev that does that, I think is just fantastic. Like again, yeah, friendly fire is kind of annoying in games. I played Call of Duty Hardcore mode when it came to getting all the the camos for um, Dark Matter in Black Ops 3. So I definitely understand the frustration with friendly fire in games. But at the same time, it's kind of hilarious. When you have friendly fire. Well, we want to encourage you to please, like, work with your, your teammates. Like, as, as odd as this is for the next Godzilla Kong movie, I kind of hope they don't do Godzilla and Kong in every movie going forward. Because I want to see things like, you know, Godzilla fighting Godzilla enemies alone, and then King Kong having to fight King Kong enemies alone. Because, like, you know if it's Godzilla and Kong just tag-teaming everything. They're always going to win. You know they're always going to win. Hey, it's Boomer Man, guy not so sly, but hello there, cat. Hello there, Chancellor Ulti Chimcha. Hello there, Temper Tenchi, Tenchi, Miss Crazy Games. It's Boomer Man, guy not so sly. How are you doing today, Boomer Guy Man? Sorry, we're just talking about... The greatest fictional character ever created, Godzilla. How are you doing, Mr. Boomerman? What were you doing today? Were you shiny hunting for Reggie Steele again? How's the, the short stream? Oh, short streamer doing! Fantasy. Yes, uh, Miss Crazy Games, I am meta. That is I. I am this absolute smooth, but see, remember everyone, I'm not an actual person. I'm simply a very realistic looking VTuber model. The Allosaurus is the real brains behind the operation. Said real brains. Said real brains behind the operation. But yes, how, how, how did things on your end go? I asked like who Meta was. I was getting my cheeks clapped on Smash Bros, and not the way I like it. Well, Sly, that sounds simply like a skill issue. That simply sounds like a skill issue, Sly, and a you problem. See, that's why I don't play Smash Bros, because I know I'd lose. Well, thank you very much for that, Ms. Crazy Games. Delightful. Thank you very much for that. Yeah, we are shiny hunting Lugia. So, the entire reason we're shiny hunting this thing in Soul Silver, because this also was a physical copy of Soul Silver. This this is not an emulator file. And the entire reason I'm hunting this thing in this game and not in Ultra Sun Ultra Moon is purely because when I was shiny hunting for Ho-Oh in Dynamax Adventures, I said, with how over odds this thing has gone, it would have been faster for me to shiny hunt this thing back in Soul Silver and, well, hunt this thing back in Heart Gold. So I decided to put my money where my mouth is. And I'm actually doing a shiny hunt of Lugia full odds. So it is 1 in 8,192 odds for this thing. Hello there, Raymond. It is a skill issue. But I can't ask my viewers to clap me in that way, or I'll get cancelled again. Yeah, but you could ask Midnight to! So you all certainly know Meowscarada won't. But how are you doing, Raymond? How is everyone doing? Yeah, I am, I am, I am meta. I am meta, I am Maxus, I am meta Maxus, you can call me either of them. Dinosaurs. 
dying or are you uh temper i think you might be delayed on the stream a little bit because the Al allosaurus came out like five minutes ago lemon lemon it's like i was gonna say ain't you married <laughs> Uh, somehow he is. Somehow. So also, for, for those who, who were not here for the, the prior mentioned hilarity that Jared mentioned, there's a game called Helldivers 2, and in it there, there's Friendly Fire. And the game devs refuse to take out Friendly Fire because... In their own words, it's funny. And you know what? It's hard to argue. It is hard to disagree with them. No, I'm 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 not I'm a smooth brain temper. I am an incredible smooth brain. This brain is incredibly smooth. The smoothest there is. No, I don't play Helldivers. I just enjoy following the memes. I just follow the memes. My computer, like, if I tried running Helldivers on this PC, it would burst into flames. It's for the same reason I can't play Final Fantasy VII Remake on it. It's just, again, this PC would burst into flames. It is not built to handle that kind of game intensity. Like, you, you can already, it's kind of having some issues with, like, this a little bit. You know, it has a little bit of issues. I could probably stick up truth when. What is stick of truth, Mudkip? What what is stick of truth? Unless it's a game where you whack Sly with a stick until he starts saying the truth. I'm gonna this to you, but my PC booty. My PC is better than Max's. I don't even play a PC. Masquerade is not real. She can't. I know the pain, Sly. Hmm. <sighs> Very delayed, gonna refract. Oh, that uh, sounds a good thing to this. Also, I'm not keeping track of my encounters for Lugia because I, I don't want to know how overall I'm going. You don't speak the truth. Stick of Truth is one of the South Park games. Ah, uh, I don't... I don't... I, I've never even watched South Park. It's just not really my cup of tea. I... I don't find gratuitous swearing entertaining. Much like the reason I don't watch Has Been Hotel... I don't find gratuitous swearing funny. However, as Andreas has told me, apparently Keith David plays a character in Has Been Hotel. So now I almost feel contractually obligated to watch that series. Probably going to do some recording, some reactions to it. Purely because Keith David is in that show. For those who don't know, Keith David, voice of the Arbiter from Halo, uh, Goliath from Gargoyles, owner of one of the absolute most badass voices in the world. You, you, you know how James Earl Jones has an awesome voice? I will dare say Keith David's voice is more awesome than James Earl Jones. Dare say. Just just listen to some quotes from the Arbiter in Halo. And and and, and try and tell me otherwise. See if truth is very inappropriate, like it seems like it goes everything. Hello there, Kage, how do you do today? Um what kind of fossil are you gaming on? I give him a laptop, nothing can run Power World. I mean, to be fair, I haven't tested this thing's upper capabilities. And the thing is, I can't even ask the person who had this thing built what this game can run at, at maximum power because they're dead so they, the the upward potential of this game system pc will forever remain an enigma i legitimately do not know what this pc is capable of i'm doing okay i'm doing okay Kage. i'm doing okay yeah, I have yet to see if Power World actually can even run on this PC. But I'd be curious if it can. Like, I, I know at some point I want to play Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, and I, I, I want to play that game just for the music, because that music absolutely slaps. 
Yep. Playing the game while streaming also takes a lot of power to the PC, which probably is doing better with streaming, probably. Yes, that's also true. I don't want to push it too far. And the thing is, I kind of want to know what it's capable of doing. Jared, I know how to turn the PC on and turn it off. That is all that I know. You, I study rocks. You think I know the inner workings of this contraption? Also, is, is the game audio coming through? Yes, game audio is coming through. Yes, game audio is going through to the PC. Okay. The Council of Jareds no longer rec recognizes you as one of our members. I'm gonna head out and get some food. Good luck with the hunt, loser. Well, hey, 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 Sly. At least I can get my shinies when I look for them. That's all I'm gonna say. At least I can get my shinies. Okay, South Park has an entire episode about Jared from Subway where he says, I'm gonna see you guys. Yeah, Mudkip, that's not really a thing you post in the comments. Alright, that is. That is not a comment to post here. Meta, I hope you know the entire reason why I'm not taking her to science this year. I understandable. Honestly, us geologists are the jokes of everything, and I can understand that. Very understandable. Yow. Let's get a shiny Lugia. Hopefully we get a shiny Lugia. Nope. 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 But I mean... Is, is streaming more taxing than just recording? Is it? Like, I, I know that I probably wouldn't be able to... Well, then again... Hmm. Actually, I, I actually haven't pushed this PC too far comparatively. I, I am curious. I, like, again, I would like to know what the maximum capability of the PC you're doing. Instead, I'm taking chem. So I'm gonna make bleach and ammonia. I mean, chemistry does basically fall into geoscience. I mean, chemistry falls like... Well, then again, to quote my old physics teacher, everything is physics. Every science is physics. Yeah, you know, I, I forget his whole giant elaborate thing. Well, it's like, you know, well, what causes chemical reactions? Electrons. What are electrons? Physics. It is a geologist get more schist than they deserve. Exactly, Jared. Just don't take us for granted. Exactly. Just remember... Just remember, if it wasn't for geology, we wouldn't have any buildings. If it weren't for geology... If it weren't for geology... We wouldn't have the capacity to convert oil into plastic and rubber. Or mine the metals that allow us to create video games. If it weren't for geologists, gaming would not exist. I fully accept all the jokes that are, like, levied against geologists entirely. But. We're still an integral part of everything. You're still an integral part of everything. Yeah, and if I want you, Max, I'd have one ninth of my sanity. I'd still have one ninth of my sanity. Mudkip, we can both agree you've taken more of my sanity than I've taken of yours. Proportionally, at least. We, we, we knew I was never playing with a full deck of cards to start off with. I was never playing with a full deck to begin with. Wow. But yeah, no, we're doing this, uh... Give me your bow. No, Jade. Hello there, Valentia. How do you do? 
Again, guys, if you haven't done so already, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. How's everyone doing? I have a Pokemon too, but in Roblox. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, again, don't forget to leave a like on the stream, guys, if you haven't done so already. Best way to help support the stream here. Let's get going. But yeah, now the goal for today is we, we uh... I've actually never played Roblox. Kind of want to play... So... Is, is, is Roblox like Minecraft? And I mean, I've never played Minecraft, but just kind of like a conceptual thing. Just, you know, vaguely figure out the broad strokes of things. Nope. Not a shiny. Anyway, you disappoint me. I wanted to practice for Splatfest, even though I DK how much I'll be able to play. Jade. Jade. Jade, 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 Jade. When do I not disappoint you? When do I not disappoint you, Jade? That's the real question you need to ask. The answer is I'm always a disappointment. Okay, well again, even if they were similar, I don't have a basis for either of them because I don't play. See, Jade. See. Again, I, it, it's, it's, it's hard to not disappoint when that's all I do. All we do is disappoint. Disappointment! Oh. Logia. Logia. Hello there, Bacon. Bacon Burrito Bros Deluxe. That is an absolutely epic name right there. Though you just reminded me of a cursed modded Minecraft video I saw earlier today. Um, I'm sorry I reminded you of that? Anyways. Okay, Max says, as a stupid kid once again said, screw you guys, I'm going home. And by home, I mean I'm gonna go annoy my friend. Correct, Mudkip. Correct. I mean, again, I still say, if I could go back in time and punch younger Max in the throat, I would. Mike says, no idea what that is. Thank you, Tamper. At least I do have at least some ability to impress people. Thank you. That means the world. That means the world, though. But yeah, no, I'm, I'm glad that people are coming out to watch the, um, the Lugia Shiny Hunt Soft reset, because I haven't decided if we're basically going to do this every night, where I do either a bit of the Lugia Shiny Hunting, or I do a bit of the Minior Shiny Hunt. Anyway. I mean, I can check DMs on my my other computer, because I have my PC streaming, and I've got my laptop off to the side, so I, I can check things that way, which worries me that you're sending me a DM, Jade, because generally when you send me DMs, it's cursed knowledge that I don't need to see. Oh no. Oh no, it's cursed knowledge, isn't it? How do you burn water? Jade, how does one burn water? That's just impressive. That is incredibly cursed knowledge. Oh my gosh, Jade. Jade, I, I, I don't... That also isn't me. Okay, but why are you sending it to me, Jade? It's times like this. I, I re reiterate, I don't get paid enough for this. Yes, um, also me, I didn't do it. Okay, Jade, again, you, you steal the curse things. What the f- is that, is that just a burnt pizza? I mean, that's not a pizza crime, Jade. 
That's just someone who doesn't know how to cook. Dang it, Jade. That's not how you make holy water. You're supposed to boil the hell out of it, not burn it. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Okay, I've, I've honestly always wondered, what is the process by which holy water is made? Like, I, th th that is something I have genuinely wondered for years. I'm not even Christian. Please protect me. Oh, Jade. What in the absolute... What, what, what am I even looking at here, Jade? What, what, why? Why are you sending me this cursed knowledge, Jade? Why are you sending me all of this cursed knowledge? I don't need to know this. I don't need to know these things, Jade. Hershey's. And that, that's I, I, the Hershey's one. I don't. That that's not bad. The Hershey's one isn't bad. Yes, I am. But you gotta remember, Jade. There's a bit of a stream delay latency, so I can still be ranting at you in the the replay because I haven't gotten up to the thing yet. So cookie pizza. See, I'd eat that. I'd eat the cookie pizza. Cause then that's just a, that's just a, a cookie right there. That's literally just a cookie. Look, yeah. Yeah. At this point, we have to be. You know that that's something. No problem. Oh, thank you. Game Boy, so nice. Yo, oh, this had mentioned a Game Boy. If I recall, it just takes someone religious authority blessing the water. Technically, the Pope could turn the ocean into holy water. There's, all, there's almost no replay. It's just a cookie, so if you shouldn't complain about eating it. I wouldn't complain about eating a cookie, because a cookie is delicious. So, does that mean the Pope could theoretically... Like, make Antarctica holy water, then? It's just holy ice? Theoretically? Hypothetically? Potentially? Alright, let's go. Let's let's see if the shiny Lugia does not exist. It does not exist. So does that mean if Arceus turns into... So does that mean any water move that Arceus uses is just de facto holy water? What's worse, moist burger or cheese puff macaroni? So you're saying, I don't eat cheese puffs. So... I'd say anything involving cheese puffs is de facto worse. Or as I recall it, containing Australian wildlife. What do you mean by containing Australian wildlife? I thought that was just Australia existing. Oh, Australia. Like, again, again, Australia is a place you could not pay me enough to stay there. It's just, that is literally nature's nightmare factory. It, that's the reason why we will never get a Pokemon region based on Australia. Because Australia is the closest thing to a Pokemon region we have in real life. Just... It, it's horrifying. It is absolutely nightmares. That, that is where Mother Nature decided, you know what? Let's just screw with humidity. I guarantee you, if there is some species that eventually supplants humanity as the dominant life form on the planet, it will originate from Australia. Alright? You, you, the emus have already won a war against humanity. 
You 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 can't tell me they're not planning something. That is way too much cheese on that burger. That is way that's just a cheese sandwich. There's way too much cheese. I'm I might like cheese, but not that not that much. The funny thing is I don't even eat cheese on a hamburger. I I don't have cheeseburgers. I I I don't like cheeseburgers, but I don't Fun fact, Australia. Lo yep, I I I've already mentioned the emu war. Well, the thing is, technically, the only reason the Australians lost was they didn't game end as many emu as they wanted to. Like they they, they wanted to. I think it was what ten thousand. They ended up taking down a couple thousand, but they they just didn't take out you know enough. So it was like kind of like a de facto loss. Again, when, when it comes to fighting emus, you need a main battle tank. Like, you 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 need something on par with an emu in terms of durability to take them out. Because those things just don't go down. Remember, birds evolved from dinosaurs. Which means, theoretically, dinosaur chicken nuggets actually would taste like chicken. Fun fact, there's a Pac-Man series on Disney that's going to have the same power stats as a Kirby... Okay, but never got to be finished. Okay, I looked it up, and there was actually specific criteria for creating holy water. Which prevent turning the ocean into holy water. <laughs> what What is the specific... Well, the thing is, if it's a, if it's a singular criteria, that's a criterion. Because criteria is plural. Criterion is, is singular. Wrong. Wrong. So what what is what is the specific criteria? So J Jared, what what is it that prevents the ocean from becoming holy water? I don't even want to know what the hell that last thing you sent me was, Jade is. You just need to boil the hell out of it. I'm mean, pretty sure I uh, Jared already used that joke. Yeah, Jared already made that joke like a few minutes ago. There were many birds during previous survivors of dinosaurian section history. Yeah, but they survive. Did 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 they survive the meteor? Or was the dinosaurs that survived evolved into birds? There are many. I like how you said various twice, and then you said many. Like, you, you weren't even internally consistent. The, the, you could have done... There were various birds during the various periods of the various dinosaur insects of history. I mean, you gotta go keep that internal consistency, Jade. Internal consistency... Logia. Logia. For an English major, I failed. Critical failure. You could indeed say it's a skill issue, Jade. You could indeed say it was a skill issue. Apparently you have to start with fresh water and sprinkle salt on it in the shape of a cross. It has to be done in a San Christy and has to be intended for it. Okay. The the deep lore on the origin of holy water. The deep lore. What the hell is that? Jade, I can't read what that is. The text is too small. The text is too dang small. Shmoliv. I don't know what that thing is supposed to be, Jade. I 
I don't know what that thing is supposed to be. I don't care if you can read it, the general idea is more important. It's the Yippie Monster or another name for I can't say year? Why is it called that? Why why is it being why is that another name for it, Jade? Like again, this this is one of the reasons why I generally avoid internet things is just it doesn't make sense to me. Log yeah. Soft reset for Lugia. Because many of those people are obsessed with it. Fair enough. Fair enough. Hello there, no name. Welcome in. Thank you very much. 10 likes. Very nice. Very, very nice. And again, if you guys haven't done so already, please. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. Hello there, Reborn. A monster reborn. Hey, Keith! Thank you very much for the member. Thank you very much for that. Can one of the mods go grab Keith's link, please? Welcome in. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I, I need to keep... I need to go talk to Shining Blue about how to get the um, notifications actually set up on oh, uh, Streamlabs. I'm doing a Shining Blue look. Um, no, we are not Coffee H, Joe Star Cujo. Also, fellow JoJo fan. Delightful. We are here. We are fans of JoJo. No doubt. Had a great time chilling. Thank you very much, Keith. Uh, we will be doing a Nuzlocke at some point, though. Uh, actually, Timmy B and I are actually kind of in talks right now about doing the Nuzlocke series. But this is actually a, a physical copy of Soul Silver that I'm hunting in. Just learned how. Oh, thank you, Keith. ACDC, don't lose often. Yes, we are fans of JoJo. We enjoy the JoJo. Yeah, actually, um, during one of my competitive battle draft league tournaments, I ran an entire team where the nicknames of everything was jo was JoJo references. Actually, I think I did it twice. I'm pretty sure. That was uh, I'm pretty sure it was season six of the EBL. Hello there, Husky. This is Pokemon Soul Silver. We are doing a shiny hunt for Lugia. This is a full odds Lugia shiny hunt too. So this is one in eight thousand one hundred ninety-two odds. Yep, Lugia shiny hunt. The entire reason I'm doing this is because back in, uh, the entire reason I'm doing this is that when I was shiny hunting for Ho-Oh, which by the way, the shiny Ho-Oh hunt took us a year and a half in Dynamax Adventures. I said during that, because we went over, we went seven times over odds on it, I said, it would have been faster if I just shiny hunted this thing back in heart gold. So... I decided to put my money where my mouth is, and that, you know what, I want to test that. I want to see, would it actually take longer to shiny hunt this thing back in Gen 4? Because I, I know for certain it would actually be faster to have hunted in Ultra Moon, because I, I have timed that out before, that would actually be faster. But I'm curious if, you know... As, as, as bad as Ozzy were originally. 
Skill issue, ho oh took so long. My ho is so short, also requires and Kartana take longer, shut up. How how long did your requires the shiny hunt again take, Jade? I'm very curious. Just 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 a reminder. And then it gives you the URL you can add the Okay, thank you. Uh can you DM me that, Keith, so I can like pin that in a comment? So I can go consult later, because my brain is paced, and I'm just going to forget about it in like 10 seconds. Skill issue. I mean, I don't I don't disagree it was a skill issue, Jade. Everything's a skill issue. Hit up only fuck. Hit up only 1500 plus DAs. Oof. Streamer brain. Oh, no, 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 Keith, 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 Keith. That's just my brain in general. Like, there's a reason why I have... Let me just move my controller out of the way so I can go grab the thing. There's a reason why in my notepad right here, I have, you know, about 70 different ideas for videos that I'm working on all at the same time right now. It's because when I think of something, if I don't write it down immediately, in five minutes... I will forget about it. So I, I I keep a running list of everything. Just for that. What shinies have you hunted in this run? Uh, we have not shiny hunted anything in this run because this is not a, a Nuzlocke. This is, this is not a shiny lock. We're going to be doing a shiny lock eventually, though. That's the thing we're going to be working on. Uh, probably going to be doing a... You know, when I get around to playing Legends Arceus again, because I actually do need to replay Legends Arceus to get some footage for things... I'm thinking of doing a shiny lock for that. So... Yeah. yeah well, a shiny lock or shiny badge quest. So I'm still debating what you want to do for that one. Actually, you know, let's leave up to a vote for that. Um, Create a poll. Legends. Arceus. Series RKS. I spelled RKS right, right? It's it's E U S, right? I can never remember how to spell that thing's name because I never use it in competitive because it's banned in BGC. So I can never remember how to actually spell it. Oh, actual DS. Actual DS. This is the Solgaleo Lunala. Yes, EUS. Um, I do not play Fortnite. I mean, if if by some miracle we hit 10k subs by the end of the year, I will play Fortnite. And Among Us, the two games I have sworn I will not play. So if we if we get to 10k by the end of the year, I will play both of them. And I so I, I will eat my own words on that. Lens Arceus. Shiny badge quest. Shiny lock. Shiny only run. Let's go. Let's go see the. Let's go see the polling votes for that. That's sick. I have a plain white DS. Yeah, I. Well, the thing is, I got this as a refurbished DS, so. It actually was cheaper than a... It was cheaper to buy this than it was to buy a regular 3DS Excel. Because, again, it's a refurbished one, which means it was defective. And they had to return it to the shop. They fixed it. But because there was something wrong with it initially, they can't put it at full price. So they put it at a reduced price. And yet, I still say it's better to go for, you know, a refurbished version than it is to go for, you know, a new one. Because if it broke, well, you know something about it was broken. It's better than factory new. All right. I send that to you. Let me know if it is. Thank you very much, Keith. Come on, the mods. Go grab another link drop of Keith, please. I'll be, I'll be, got a couple of bucks. Fair enough. That's sick. I have my 3DS. Yo. Yeah, I've also got the... Mario 25th Anniversary DSi Excel. 
that uh, the funny thing is I have only played one Mario game, and that was Mario Wonder, and I had I've had that for literal years. I've had that for absolutely years. Nope, but no shiny yet. Eventually we'll get the shiny. I just hope this thing doesn't go over odds like shiny Latias is, because we are also doing, we're doing a number of shiny hunts simultaneously. We've got a shiny Latias Dynamax Adventure hunt. We are shiny hunting Zygarde in Dynamax Adventures as well. Uh, which we're doing a sort of a, a shiny race for that with someone. As well, we've got a bunch of other stuff and things that we do here. So we, we do all kinds of stuff and things, ladies and gentlemen. The DSI for paper. Um, it was just the Mario anniversary one. It wasn't like the Paper Mario one. Yeah, but I'm still trying to figure out what the ideal stream time is for, um... The ideal streaming time. Which, I mean, I, again, we are figuring that out. Just again, fluff around and find out. Screw around and find out is the best way of doing things. But if you want to see actually a Nuzlocke, we actually did a... We, we here are gigantic Godzilla fans. And I made a Godzilla-themed Nuzlocke. I created my own Nuzlocke. And we did a run of that about uh, two years ago. No, no, actually, no, three, uh, two and a half years ago. And in the course of that, which we did in Heart Gold version, we found two shinies. Full odds. So, I uh, would recommend checking that out. Hello there, Zayden Morgan. How are you doing today? Hope you are doing delightful. Also, I need to get some more water. It's important to hydrate or dehydrate, friends. Drink water if only to outlive one's enemies. Yeah, we got that for the move. Again, we're doing a couple of more Nuzlocke. Again, Timmy, B, and I still kind of got to figure a thing out for that. Because we were going to do that like, on an Ultra Alola. Ultra Alola. We also got a bunch of different uh, discussion videos in the works, which I, I need that there's actually a discussion video on Godzilla I'm actually going to be putting out soon. I need to get like knuckling down to work on that one because uh, again, I, I love Godzilla movies. I love those movies and this actually is my second YouTube channel I've ever made. My first one was actually a movie reviewing channel. And I'd started that about, like, what, over 10 years ago? And it crashed and burned. Actually, no, a little less. Was it, was it about nine years ago? No, it, was, it, was, it had to be nine years ago. Because I'm pretty sure I made it after Godzilla 2014 happened, I think. Was that? When was that? No, let, let me go check. Well... There were certain movies that I know I reviewed on the channel, like when they came out, so I need to actually go check that. Because I, mean, I can kind of use that as a bit of a gauge for how long ago it was. Just to figure things out. Yeah, no, it's going quite well. Yeah, who knows? I might actually bring that channel idea back at some point and actually start doing movie reviews again. Because originally I wanted to keep this channel, like, purely gaming. But, because, like, my, my, main, my main inspiration when it came to making content was Chugga Conroy. And this is sort of one thing throughout the years I've kind of realized is... Don't, you know, don't, don't just emulate Chugga because, you know, Chugga like, does what he does because you know, he's, he's got a thing. And I, you're just trying to always be, you know, the shadow of something else and not being your own person is never going to get anywhere. So it's like, you know, kind of having to break those limitations, those mental limits is kind of a bit of a thing to work on. But hello there, it's Theron. How do you do today? So yeah, who knows, I might actually get around to uh, doing Godzilla movie reviews again. 
I mean, and like in other movie reviews too. Because I, I, I do want to kind of get back to doing this. I do very much enjoy video essays. You know, it's not just that. Hello there, Prime Guy. That's a that's a name right there. Give me one sonata. How did I do? Oh no! Okay, no, no. It was it, the the old channel was over ten years old. That channel, what the old channel was over ten years old, and I mean that that old channel is now long since deleted. Favorite shiny? That's Gigalith. Yeah, that that old channel is now long since gone, and you know I know that they say the internet is forever, but that is one channel that, no, it, it is just simply gone. Because it was so few people were actually aware of its entire existence, and it was only up for a very short time. If any of my old movie reviews are still around, floating around the internet, I would be legitimately impressed. But there is no way they still exist. Yeah, I was a very, very different person back then. Hey, Wake! Come on to the mods, go grab Mr. Way's link, please. The funny thing is, Prime, Groudon is something we actually are shiny hunting. It's actually on our list of shiny hunts. Uh, we're going to be doing that in Dynamax Adventures in Sword and Shield. So, that there actually is already... We've actually already done uh, one hunt for it already. We've already done one stream for it. Um, I'm not keeping track of them, way Because I don't want to know how horribly over odds I get on this thing. Because I kept track of Ho-Oh Dynamax Adventures, and that thing went almost seven times over odds. I I, I, I don't want to know. It's, it's sort of a self-preservation thing. <laughs> you know, I, I, I don't... My, my sanity, I don't think, would allow me to, to know. Hello there, Pro Gamer Place. How do you do today? I feel that, but also you will never know if you're not to feel like H E double hockey sticks. Yes, you are also correct on that way. But I I subscribe to the school of ignorance is bliss. Plus, if I get this thing in under what? 70 streams? I I still think that's a win. <laughs> I still think that's a win. Cause Ho-Oh! I think around 200 of those Ho-Oh Dynamax adventures, I did off-stream. And our Ho-Oh Dynamax adventure total was, you know, it was, it was seven, our, our Ho-Oh Dynamax adventure streams, I'm pretty sure it was over 50. Like, it was, was like, I think like uh, 55 streams or something like that. Isn't Groudon supposed to be a pangolin or just a sand true line? No, Groudon's the, uh, the behemoth. Groudon is based on the behemoth. It is not a pangolin. Let me let me, let me check to make sure that is correct. It's because I'm, I'm like I know that like there's the Ziz, the Leviathan, and the behemoth is what the Canto uh, the Canto the Hoenn legendaries are based on. But I'm, I think Groudon is the behemoth. Yes, Groudon is the behemoth. And Kyogre is the Leviathan. Which is weird, because, like, the Behemoth is depicted as, like, a, basically a, a warthog or a hippopotamus. And yet Groudon is basically, like, a dinosaur. Which, again, I mean, dinosaurs are awesome. We love dinosaurs here. Which, by the way, we're going to be doing another Fossil Fighters Let's Play series in the future, because that game is great. What the hell's a pangolin? Pangolin. This is why I'm glad I have my other PC right next to me. Oh, Pangolin. Yeah, I think that's what Sandshrew's based on. Sandy Santos, what kind of run do you have going on? Uh, this is just a regular playthrough 
of Soul Silver. Physical copy. Where we're just shining it in for Lugia. But for the uh, Legends Arceus thing, that is what we're going to be doing in the future that I would like you guys to see we use. Like the fact that those are, wow, it's actually pretty even, even neck and neck. Shiny badge quest, shiny lock. Really fun. Man, yeah, no, there's, there's a couple of ideas uh, kicking around. Those are the future ideas. Future, future ideas. And again, if you guys haven't done so already, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. Biano, yeah, we do physical copies here. Biano, yeah, no, the goal of the uh, this is basically just get the shiny. Like I, I like odds. Whether or not I get to odds, kind of is almost irrelevant. It's more of It's more of just getting the encounter shiny before the total time it took me to get Ho-Oh took. I'm gonna cook and some full odds of horde encounters in Oras fun. Yeah, I'm I'm yeah, Keith, I think you were here earlier when I mentioned this, but I'm still waiting on my Omega Ruby version to come. Cause I've got Finally, I have my, my Pokemon Y version. So I've got Alpha Sapphire, X version, Y version. I'm still waiting on Omega Ruby. Any shines on run so far, by the way. Good luck on Lugia. May I get it? I hope I get it under odds, Sandy Santos. Thank you very much for that. Uh, no shinies so far in this one. But in my custom Godzilla-themed Nuzlocke we did in Heart Gold uh, two and a half years ago, we actually found two full odds shinies. Shiny Gligar and Shiny Ghastly. Over 5,000 hordes for Nankata phase five times. Yikes! I dread shiny hunting that family. Because the thing is, I'm probably going to need to buy a second 3DS or maybe just a 2DS. And use that, because I'm going to need to be able to trade between my own games in order to get the stuff. I'm going to need to go and I'm going to need to do that at some point. But I mean, I would just get myself a regular just 2DS, you know, a base, non-Excel, small version of it, just to you know, that's the cheapest way to get it. Yeah, how are you doing, Storms? Thank you very much. I do indeed need the good luck. Um, I'm going to go back to get some more water real quick because hydrate or dehydrate, friends. Hydrate if only to outlive your enemies. Well, you get to enjoy the amazing Lugia battle music. Nope. I shall want to win now. Required. Reset game. Uh, Keith, what game are you doing? Uh, these are doing Oras. Honestly, I'm gonna mod in Nat Dex eventually. Once Bang shuts down, I'm gonna be able to go with Dex. I, uh, I, I kind of have a thing I'm working on about Pokemon Bank. I'm fairly certain Bank is not shutting down for a long time. Because the thing is, they said Bank was, like, what, supposed to shut down March 21st? Yo, people, people were saying Bank was going to shut down, like, what, March 21st, 2024? It's still not shut down. So, 
Which again is is one of the many reasons I implicitly don't trust leakers. Is that they've been wrong a slew of times lately. But also that, yo, Game Freak is completely and entirely aware how many players are playing the old games still. And, like, until they have the new games on the new system... You know, the, the, until they get, like... Se I think until they release... What? Gens 2 through... What? 5? I honestly, they're probably not even that. Probably not even five. Probably just Gen. Like, yeah, I think maybe the Gen's one, Gen's two through five on the Switch. In addition to that, they're not gonna shut down Bank because there are still Pokemon that are not obtainable on the Switch at all that you can't like bring into home. And I think until everything is obtainable on the Switch, they're gonna keep Bank open, which. The next Pokemon game we know is coming out is coming out in 2025. So at bare minimum, we've got, what, another year and a half of Pokemon and Bank? And there's no way they're going to shut down Bank immediately when Legend ZA comes out. And that's, again, that's assuming everything else gets added in, in Legend ZA. You know, that includes, like, all the monkeys and, you know, every other Pokemon that hasn't been in the game. I'm fairly certain there's only a few... I'm pretty sure the only Pokemon that have not been in every game is uh, is just like the a few unit of a Pokemon, and then they also still need to fix the whole Spinda issue. So, I think it's gonna be a long time before Bank proper shuts down, purely because they know how many people still play the older games, and that there is still a very high resale market for those games. You know, because when they, they start, you know, putting out those games, there'll be a lot less backlash for, okay, we we have these new games on the Switch, and then they shut the home down. You know, I I think we have still probably have, what, two, three years? We still have, what, two years minimum left on bank. You know, probably even longer than that, because I know when... I know when, well, like, Xbox and PlayStation come out with their next-generation consoles, they still keep things like uh, the PlayStation 3, PlayStation, uh, like, the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 Live. That stayed up for, what, four or five years after, like, the new-generation consoles came out? And, you know, Nintendo doesn't have the same timetable. They have their systems be a lot more, you know, they have a lot more longevity, and, again, they know people play the older games. Or, what I think is going to happen is, Bank is still going to be a thing, and they're just going to have it be connect to your phone on Pokemon Home. Because we already know they use Pokemon Home, and they use a phone to transfer Pokemon. So, why not just in-build in Pokemon Home a way to receive stuff from Bank? So again, I Game Freak has all of this already figured out. But again, they can't really come out and say certain things because then again, they have stocks, they have investors, they have shareholders, board of directors. They have to do this all very bureaucratically, which doesn't really leave them the wiggle room to just come out and say, this is what's going to happen. Because again, they, they have to answer the big, they have to answer the big wigs upstairs. I think you actually have to subscribe there. Well, I need to trade, and trades are about to close. Well, I figure I'm going to have to mod the decks. It's been a month grinding the decks. But I don't really see it as necessary. Do you not have a second 3DS? Because I, I know I don't. I still need to get a, another... I still need to get a 2DS, which I need to figure out how much that gets to those guards. Uh, 2DS. Just curious on that. Two DS Excel. Oh, that's just a case. Is that a case? So is that is that a case or is that just an actual two DS proper? That's like for thirty eight bucks. If that's the case, wow, that 
wow, that that's Wow, that's actually I might actually get that if that's that cheap. I might actually go and get that if that's cheap. Then I need to go check that. Nah, just to have one. I'm just curious how Legend Z is. I think Legend Z A is going to be a lot more limited than we think it is. But I also do deliberately downplay my own expectations so I don't overexpect from things. Like when when we got Tears of the Kingdom, I was think my, I went into Tears of the Kingdom thinking, all right, it's gonna be Breath of the Wild. Maybe it's gonna be a bit bigger. We know there's gonna be underground stuff, but maybe it's like you can only go underground at like the dungeon and that's it. And then boom, you have the sky, you have the entirety of the depth, you have all those types of stuff. Like okay, that blew me away. You know, it's like it's it's kind of a thing of I deliberately decapitate my own expectations of things specifically so when those decapitated expectations i have are exceeded it makes the impact of those expectations being broken more impactful here's what it is I don't think we're going to get gameplay of Legends ZA until a couple of months before ZA releases. Because remember the reaction to the gameplay of Legends Arceus when they first released that? People were memeing all over the little bit of a lag in, you know, the, the animation models of Pokemon moving around. So... I, I don't think we're going to get actual gameplay footage until maybe four or five months before release. My theory for ZA, you need to clear areas by catching wild Pokemon so that those areas can develop into a city. Well, the thing is, it's not city development, Temper. It is specifically outlined as Lumio City Urban Redevelopment. So, the idea is Lumio City already exists. They're just going in, basically bulldozing what was there before, and rebuilding it. Because my friend Echo and I, because we both are kind of like history nerds, and we're basically talking about stuff. And his running hypothesis is... It takes place in the real, it takes place during like the real life 18, like 50s when there was the Paris reconstruction project going on, which seems to be what this is aligning with, which was redeveloping Paris because Lumio City is literally just Pokemon's version of Paris. And because one, it would, it would completely coincide with that, but also you you have to rebuild Paris again. It, Lumio City already exists proper because... At the very least, with um, Honshu, I think that's what the Big Island of Japan is called, during the Edo period when they were, you know, settling that, which is what Legends Arceus is based on, that wasn't really developed. You know, people hadn't really gone there and, like, formed mass settlements in the same capacity. But, like, there's been settlements in Europe for hundreds of years preceding, you know, Pokemon. I mean, even as far, even with, within X and Y, Lumio, well, not Lumio City, but like, you know, Kalos as a region proper existed and was, you know, structured, you know, in like a, a semi, you know, coherent civilization as far as 3,000 years ago. There's no wilds that are being developed. It's it's all very, you know, settled. So you, you can't really have the same kind of, well, we're exploring this new place we've never been to before. Everything in Pokemon Europe's already been explored. So they gotta go back and, okay, we've gotta redevelop everything. I think Mega Pokemon are gonna be about those. I hope that Mega Pokemon are boss battles. Because that was one thing about Legends Arceus that I, I was not a fan of. You have these awesome alpha Pokemon boss battles. 
and there are like no required alpha bosses. The only time you have like and you know actual battles because like the noble Pokemon, you just throw food at them. The battle with them is kind of almost a little bit irrelevant. It's just you throw food at them. The only time you need to battle them and like it actually is a battle battle is when you're getting the lake spirits. There is the Alpha Zoroark, Alpha Overquill, Alpha Hoodra. And that's it. Which that kind of disappointed me. Like you had these awesome ones, you could just you could have done these awesome epic battles and you just didn't do it. Uh this is a regular playthrough. Um Ro Rogaru. Uh please let me know if I said that name I'm horrible with names and I butcher them constantly. Uh, but this is just a regular playthrough and shiny hunt of Lugia. However, when it gets to Legends Arceus, we are going to be doing a shiny playthrough of Arce of Legends Arceus that you guys get to vote on what the exact specifics are. Again, yeah, please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more, you absolute legends. Hello there, Cheap, how do you do? Hope you are doing very well today. It's kind of, you know, normally I'm kind of wiped out after streaming, but I've done one other stream today that was about three hours long, and I'm still good to go. Granted, when, you know, the tiredness hits me, it hits me like a freaking ton of bricks, so there's that. Yeah, I'm going to go check to see if that's, like, very, very cheap right there. I'm doing fair. How's the day? The day's been treating me very well. I finally figured out this short stream thing. So that that's that's good. I finally figured out how to do this short stream thing. And I can actually start doing stuff with that. Now I'm gonna need to go look for um an, a 3DS or a 2DS some point. Because I need that. I need to buy one of those, because I need to get a second one so I can actually trade back and forth between X and XY and Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. Or does GameStop have one? Or does GameStop not actually have any more in circulation? Oh wow, $99. Okay, that's... That's actually... I might get... That's $90. Like, that's... That's actually really... That's not bad. Maybe Dene could finally evolve and give him an extinct evolution. That would be interesting if they give to Dene an extinct evolution. Look again, if there's any Pokemon that should have gotten a Mega Evolution back in Kalos other than the other two starters, because they gave Ash Greninja, because originally Ash Greninja's form was supposed to be in the sequel, or like the secondary derivative version of X and Y, like X and Y 2 or Z version. That was when you were supposed to get Eternal Flower, Float, and Ash Greninja, but they never did. Like, I don't get why it was they didn't make... You know, Mega Chestnut, Mega Delphox. They made Mega Kanto starters. Cool beans. I wish I knew you with Shadow Lugia. Yeah, the issue with Shadow Lugia is that Nintendo and Game Freak don't exactly own the rights to that. Basically, Shadow Lugia and, like, Shadow Pokemon as, as a whole thing kind of exist in, as we say technically, legal limbo. So they can't really do anything with that which is why i think that they let niantic put shadow pokemon in pokemon go so that way when and if the time comes that they want to make another game involving shadow pokemon and the people who do have the rights to the Shadow Pokemon, you know, come out of the woodwork to try to say, oh, you used, you're you using our intellectual property that we own the rights to, you know, to kind of get a, a grab or something like that. You know, you know grab at that. They, well, Shadow Pokemon have been in, in Pokemon Go for years, and you never brought it up then. So why is it brought up now? That's just what they'll think 
Um, no. It's that Shadow Lugia originated from Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. And Nintendo and Game Freak don't own the trademark to Shadow Pokemon. It's, it's very, very complicated legalese, you know, basically bullshit for lack of a better term. So, it's, it's, it's a lot of legal stuff, that's the problem. Which, yeah, a lot of, a lot of legal things is, is the issue for that. Uh, so what Megal is in the right? Not really. It's it's very overly complicated legal stuff. Not not exactly, Omar. It's just that the rights to things are not where we think the rights to things are, and that makes it so they can't really make games with those things. Because again, they don't own the rights to them essentially, despite you know. They own Pokemon, but they don't own Shadow Pokemon as a term. Again, it's it's a lot of very complicated legalese things that even I know I don't fully understand. Hello there, Nick. How are you doing? Yeah, I I loved Shadow Pokemon. I love XD Gale of Darkness. I love Coliseum. I still actually have those two games. Uh, despite not actually having a GameCube anymore. I love them. Uh, they're hard to play. Yeah, it's... I'm happy to help. I am really... Yeah, it's... We'll get it. It's the, basically the people that made XD Gale of Darkness at Coliseum. Like, they kind of, like, imploded as a company. So, again, it's the legal rights are kind of just floating around in limbo. Well, again, that's why, like, the best way of describing it is basically legal limbo. Because who owns what, where it is, is is not exactly hard, fast, and nailed down. Because, you know, hypothetically speaking, if someone does, you know, own the rights to Shadow Pokemon, well, would they even, you know, would they even, like, sell it to Game Freak for, you know, a reasonable price? Because you got to remember, Game Freak... And Pokemon Company to get Shadow Pokemon back as a like an intellectual property, they would need to buy the rights to Shadow Pokemon, then make a game with Shadow Pokemon, and then see if that would sell. So it's like it, it's not even just they would need to cover the cost of developing a game as you know normally is with game development. It's they would need to cover the costs of, like, buying the rights. And, you know, you know if someone's trying to buy the rights to Pokemon stuff, well, you're, you know, the second largest, most profitable gaming franchise in the world. You know, they can charge, you know, they basically, okay, give me a blank check and I'll say what I want for the thing. Again, they need to basically get enough earnings back. And if the price is too much, they just simply won't buy it because they know they won't get a return on investment. We're going to make a Pokemon game with Shadow Pokemon where they have to call up the owner's equipment. Yes, that is exactly what it is. They would basically need to pay the company that owns them to use the rights. Again, it, it, again it's a very complicated legal stuff. But yes. And the calculus would be how much money would it cost to do that, you know, collaboration thing? You know, just you know, securing the rights. Then, how much would it cost to make and market this game? And then, how much money do we think this game would even bring in? So it's it's a lot of questions that, if one of them is no, because if they find, you know, people probably may not want this Shadow Pokemon game, it won't make enough money, then they wouldn't go through the trouble of going and buying the right, they wouldn't go through the problem of, buying the of making the game, and then it's just dead in the water. Like, that, that, that is how games are made. 
games are not really made so much with the what do we think the uh, you know, the community would want for a game it's what do we think is the most profitable um gx rate e i am not been keeping track of encounters but we are well over probably three four hundred at this point just based on encounter rate yeah exactly exactly cheap it's good then they know how big of a comp like a franchise pokemon is they could say oh yeah i want you know blah blah blah, blah x amount of money it's like it, it's way more money than they ever get back and there's no point that that again that's kind of one of the issues of like a shadow pokemon game is just there's a lot of hoops that would need to be jumped through in order to you know secure the rights to a potential future game and if you anything along that chain just is you know not favorable there's no point that's why like you know again fan games can get through things but you know because they get they don't make money they just it, they're small fish but you know when a company makes that that's when things step in and again, guys, if you haven't done so already, please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more. You absolute legends. And then no can purchase the rights from the company if there are any rights. If the company went under, they would still them unless they sold them. Yes. But the thing is, the company that owns the rights can charge basically whatever they want because they own the rights to a thing. You know, they they can sell whatever because they can either say, yeah, I want this much money or I just won't sell them. And again, anything with that is just dead in the water. Hello there, Nintendo Zombie 96. How are you doing? Thank you very much for that. Subscribe. Thank you very much for that. Oh, yeah. Or probably just some normal guy. Yeah. Yeah, again, it, it's th there really is a lot of problems with it. Because I would love another XD Gala Darkness style game. But the odds of it happening are unfortunately very low. Which again is unfortunate because I love those games. Which reminds me, I need to secure myself um, a GameCube at some point. The craziest part about the situation is having the Shadow Pokemon rights, but able to do anything since Nintendo has the rights to all of them. Yeah! Yeah, again, it's, it's this, it's such a weird, just, way things are. Because, like, the only thing that can kind of be compared to it is when Marvel sold off the movie rights to a lot of their characters to different studios so marvel could still make comics with the characters but no one else could make like movies and tv shows with those characters again it's it's such a weird thing but i like add shit of pokemon as a separate pokemon do it as a shiny or a different version well, the thing is, Shadow Pokemon functionally were a whole separate thing together. There actually was a gameplay difference between Shadow Pokemon and regular Pokemon. So it, it wasn't just like a superficial thing like shininess where it's just a color differential. There actually was a difference in gameplay with them. Well, the thing is, Niantic is not owned by Pokemon Company. Pokemon Com... Like, Pokemon Company has basically no involvement with Niantic. Which, I have mentioned this actually a little bit earlier, Sanders, but I think the reason why Shadow Pokemon are in Go is if Pokemon Company has any plans to use Shadow Pokemon in the future... They basically have Niantic doing that, so if someone wants to come out of the woodwork and say, oh, well, we have the rights to Shadow Pokemon, 
and we want X amount of money from these games because we have the right set of Pokemon. It's like, well, you didn't invoke them when Pokemon Go added shiny po added shadow Pokemon, you know, five years ago. So then the whole thing just gets thrown out. Which, I think that's the whole reason why. Because I think that as well, if you really cared that much about the rights, you would have brought it up when, when Pokemon Go added Shadow Pokemon. Because if someone comes up, you know, comes out with the rights to Shadow Pokemon, it's like, oh yeah, I have the rights to them. Well, Niantic isn't really owned by Game Freak. They're their own separate entity altogether, so they wouldn't be basically liable for anything that happens with Niantic. They say, well, it's not our game. It's Niantic's game. So they're the ones you have the bone to pick with. But, then, well, years later, well, we have, but no one brought anything about the Shadow Pokemon back then. But that, that, that's what I think is like probably the real thing. How would Shadow Pokemon work if Gen 10 to Game Freak bring it back? I mean, I think they would basically just work the same way they did before, which is just, oh, you purify them. Or it's just like a move like Shadow Rush, it just is a thing that anything gets, but... I don't know. I mean, well, we do know that Pokemon has this fascinating obsession with, like, a super mechanic every single generation. So maybe they will actually bring Shadow Pokemon back as, like, the next generation's super mechanic. Or my hope is that Generation 10 is going to be the first game since Gen 5 to go back to basics of no super mechanics. Like, I, 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 would, I would rather no super mechanics in the next Pokemon games. I, I, I want to go back to basics. I want to go back to Gen 5 is just Pokemon v. Pokemon. None of this Mega Evolution, Z-Move, Dynamax, Gigantamax, Terastamax things. Just good old-fashioned chess matching the other side. And that's, that's, I mean, I know it's wishful thinking, but I mean, hey, they did it in BDSP. You know, they, they brought, B, they did BDSP and they had nothing new in it. You know, unlike Let's Go Eevee, Let's Go Pidgey, but they actually brought the Mega Evolutions in, so. There's a sliver of hope. But I also know that that's like the unpopular thing. Well, then again, people are kind of getting a bit fed up with all the different super mechanics, so. You never know. You never know. But yeah, we are probably going to be winding down to the end of the stream soon. We have been live for an hour and a half. And we we actually did about a three-hour stream earlier today. So, I am kind of absolutely knackered. And you're going to be disappointed with it. Oh, no, I know ZA is bringing Megas back. But the thing is, so long as there's no competitive online battling in Legends ZA, I have no issues with it. My whole my my whole kind of issue with like the whole super mechanics is I'm I'm a very big competitive battler. I love VGC, I love draft league, I love battling. And the super mechanics kind of take a lot of the strategy that exists in competitive battling and just throws it out the window. Because what's the point of a comeback mechanic? which is designed to give you the edge in a match when you're losing, when that same thing that gives you such a massive edge when you're behind can just be used when you're already ahead to further secure the advantage. There's no mechanic that is not designed as a comeback mechanic that doesn't just benefit you more to use from the outset unless it is something like, say, Supreme Overlord or... Uh, last respects where the more Pokemon that have been knocked out in the fight make it stronger. You know, that there's there's nothing where that comeback mechanic is not beneficial to use from the get-go. Like, if, if you're doing a, ma a match with Dynamaxing and you need to use your Dynamax, you know, you know, to get back the advantage after having lost it, well, why did you not just use Dynamaxing when you already had the advantage? To secure that advantage even further. So again, that, that's kind of the underlying issue of super mechanics. So that would be interesting if Shadow Pokemon were to counter Megas. That would be cool. 
You might be honest on there. Well, I mean, the thing is, they already did it with, like, the Battle Bond phenomenon, which Battle Bond Grenade was, like, made to... Like, in lore, Battle Bond Grenade... Well, not in lore, but, like, in the original intention and idea of Meg of uh, of Battle Bond Greninja and Ash Greninja was so Ash can have a counter to Mega Evolutions in the anime, which likely was sort of a similar trend, even though functionally it's the same thing as a Mega. So again, it's it's kind of a thing of, what's the point? Though it also is kind of funny because Mega Evolutions do cause pain to the Pokemon when they're using. Yeah, if, if you want to have some Nightmare Fuel, would recommend reading the dex entries of mega evolutions in ultra sun ultra moon because they're absolutely nightmare fuel which i mean kind of tracks with pokemon uh, shadow pokemon which where you know you make the pokemon suffer in order to make them into literally just fighting machines when mega evolutions are literally designed for one thing and that is just carnage it's terrifying absolutely horrifying but this is our last encounter of the night. If you haven't done so already, please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more. No Shiny Lugia tonight. Tomorrow we will be going live again for potentially more Shiny Latias hunting. Or maybe go for Shiny Minior. Or we continue with our X and Y playthrough. I have not decided yet. But let's go find someone to go raid. This was fun. Okay, I finally figured out this, this whole short stream thing. I finally figured out the whole short system. <laughs> Samoyed! Aw, Sammy. Sorry, I, I have a dog. Uh, she's a Samoyed. Love Samoyeds. They are good floofa loafs. Who do we go raid is the question. Who is the real question? Who do we raid? Actually, I don't know if we're going red. Maybe we'll, we'll think about that. Uh, Agron. What's Rod doing? You know what? Let's... Let's go raid... Rod's raided us a couple of times. Let's go raid Rod. Let's go raid Rod. I will see you guys tomorrow. we go. I stayed awake for the whole dream this time. Night. See you guys next time. Have a good night.